Oh, man, it's the name done. <laughs> that was so <laughs> fast. That was unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen a kid so fast in my life. <laughs> I've never seen adults that fast. <laughs> I was just showing Daddy how fast I could be. Oh, uh, let's try the next one. I'm doing normal like this. <laughs> I have to put it slow. Let's see how fast Daddy you can do the next problem. Before that, that sometimes I just pause like this, and sometimes I just go really fast like this, <laughs> and, and then I don't go normal. Yeah, you don't have the normal speed. You have supersonic speeds, <laughs> and then you have, and then uh, I'll try to get you to do the next problem speeds. Now next problem. So yeah, I'm gonna do it fast again. Okay. Uh, I know all the answers fast, but it's just like I kind of how to fight all that fast. Yeah, your brain thinks faster than your hands can move. <laughs> That's for everyone. Uh, uh, not for everyone. For you, definitely. <laughs> I like supersonic speed. <laughs> when I go so fast, I can't even, my hands can't even remember anything. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know. Well, now I did f of x. I just copied this and did the derivative. That's the big s for the derivative. And then dx. You mean the integral? Yeah, the integral, I mean. dx is, um, I don't know what d stands for, but then x is um, the, to the respect of x. Yeah, I don't know what d stands for either. I'm curious. I'll look that up. Okay, so now... I'm going to do it fast, so now we take a, a, the interval, um, so s, x squared plus d, x, d, x, um, so it's now quad, I don't know if it was, 1 over 3, x cubed, the formula I showed you on the other time, and then, um, then 3, x cubed. Is your head itches? Yeah. You okay? You okay? Been itching for like a for like a year now. A year. <laughs> or like hmm. two months. Oh, well, maybe we'll I'll have mommy take a look. I have seen you itch a lot lately. Make sure you don't have something wrong or some lice or some. Hmm. Okay. I think this is the first time I have lice. I don't think you have lice. We looked in there before. Okay, back to the problem. So, the derivative of three, the the integral of three x is um is three over two. So plus three over two x. No, three over two x squared. And then now we plus c, but we don't know what c is, so we have to figure it out. So, but we know that f of one equals four over three. So let's plug in f of one. Relax. 1 over 3 plus 3 over 2 is common denominators. 2 over 6 plus 9 over 6 is 11 over 6. 11 over 6. No, 11 over 6 plus... No, 11 over 6 plus C. C equals negative 11 over 6. And then... Well, wait a second. F of 1 equals what? It doesn't equal 0. F1 doesn't equal oh, 4 over 3. Right. But, but if we plug in 1 here, mm -hmm. then it gets 1 over 3 plus 3 over 2. Mm -hmm. Oh, it equals 4 over 3. That's right. Oh, so then 4 over 3. So then 4 over 3 minus 11 over 6 mm -hmm. is 8 over 6 minus 11 over 6 is negative is negative 3 over 6. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, so I'm going to change it to negative 3 over 6. Mm -hmm. oh, that's negative 1 over 2. That's right. I just reduced it. So, okay, so now, now we got that. Now just plug in C. And then, so capital F of X. Now we know what C is, negative 1 over 2. Which equals mm -hmm. 1 over 3 x cubed plus 3 over 2x squared uh, minus 1 over 2. Great job. Can I, uh, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Why? How do they 
know, why are we supposed to use f of 1? Why can't it be f of a billion or something? In the example? No, in why the, you mean no, in... Why does it have to be f of 1? Why can't it be f of 3 or whatever? Well, you use what they give you. But why? Why can't you pick another number? Well, you don't have a choice. They just give you something and you have to deal with that, right? But how do they know that it's that? They're just making it up. Oh. So they just made up f of 1 equals 4 of 3? Yeah, when they, dis when they figured out what, what, should, what kind of problem should we create. And they figured, ah, oh, let's just try f of x equals x cubed, x squared plus 3x. And uh, we'll give an example of f, one, f of 1 equals 4 over 3. And then you just have to figure out what the original equation must have been. I'm just going to do this last problem right now. Okay. I have like 5% battery, so I don't know if I'll be able to tape it, but go ahead. Well, you can tape it when you charge. That's true. Or will, it, or will the video like uh, restart? Do I ever, so let's go on to the problem. So okay. No more talking because he only has 5% battery. Good, so, good idea. So f of x equals a big S, 3x squared, plus 1, dx, I should put parentheses around this, but it just wastes time. So, equals, um, 3 over, oh, 3 over 3, well, that's 1. So, so it's just x cubed plus x. Well, what I do is, like, the antiderivative or the integral of 1 is, or of any kind of constant, a number without any variable, is just that number times x. Very smart. You always or whatever, figure out these great. Or whatever d and then whatever's after it. Yes, you're right. Daddy, if it was d, d, and d was the variable, would it be d squared? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a great thought. I need to figure out what D means. And then we'll, we'll figure then it out. Then we'll be um, the whatever D is squared. So X cubed plus X. Oh, plus C. I almost forgot that. <laughs> okay, well, F of 0 equals 4. So 0, 0, C, C equals 4. Okay, so, hey, yeah, C equals 4. Well, oh, that was easy. Yeah, you did this one pretty fast. Huh? C equals 4. And then... Well, now we just have to plug it in. So, F, yeah, one second, I'm just going to circle this in. So, so then, F of X equals X cubed plus X, and then C um, is 4, so plus 4, and then, um, I just circled it? Yeah. You're that so was, amazing. That was a little bumping on the 4.